Hi, in this video I will show you how to do some basic programming in Python. In this video I would like to demonstrate you some basic math operation. We are doing, we are reading some, we are reading two inputs from the users dynamically and performing some math operation and giving the result. We are performing addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Okay, let's start. To achieve this we can use two methods, either you can directly program on the python IDE. This is the python IDE. Either you can directly run your code here and get the result, otherwise you can type your codes in any text editor and save as a python file and you can run the file ok I am doing this with notepad++ editor you can use any text editor creating new and we need, we need to read two variables dynamically from the user I will call the variable x X, uh, the variable should be integer, so I declare the integer and input. We are using the function input. Let's say some string under the first number. Okay. Second y y also integer was input function to here we can write under the second number okay close the brackets now what are the basic math operation we need first time addition print addition is first number will be in x plus second number will be in y that's it the same way we can use what print sorry subtraction x minus y ok and same method you can use print multiplication x into y the last one is print division x divided by y ok this is the basic function if you want to perform the, the same program again and again until some particular condition occurred we can code like Let's create a variable play equal to boolean we call true. Okay. While play means well play equal to true. We declared the play as true, so it should be true at the running time. When play will become true, this will condition this code will run. Okay, if not, if well, let's say if input play again 
okay play again we are asking user want to play again okay and user replying will be equal to equal to what you can say no user type no then we can change the variable play will become false okay all other cases if user type yes or something else should be in true condition okay let's save the file click into desktop well type max basic map okay okay let it be max and max dot should save the function as python file Here in Python, yeah. py, Python file. Okay, Python file. Max dot py. We saved the file in desktop. Okay, now you can check the max file here. See, it's now showing as a Python file. You can double click on the file. So let's see. Let's go to command prompt. Cmd. Let's change cd desktop max dot py. No, no, it's getting one error. There should be we missed something here. Probably we missed the colon. Tap the colon. Save again. Come back to cmd. Type again max dot py. See, it's running the file, running the Python. Now enter the first number. Let's say twenty. Enter the second number. I give two. See, the addition is twenty plus two equal to twenty-two. Subtraction is twenty minus two equal to eighteen. Multiplication is twenty. Into two equal to forty. Division is twenty by two equal to ten. Now it's asking you want to play again. Let's say yes. Again under the first number. Twenty five. Second number five. Addition thirty. Subtraction twenty. Multiplication five into twenty five. One twenty five. Division five by five. It's always five. You want to play again? Let's say no. It's close by itself. Okay. I hope this video is informative. Thank you.